kind of a sad day for the Zambrano clan because in a couple of days, someone's gonna buy this lot where our ancestral home used to stand. Uh, that house was where I, Paul, Shara, and Kiko grew up, my father partly, and uh, you know, we have a lot of memories here. Uh, you know, when we were young, we were just playing around near the pond, jumping into the water, catching fish, and you know, time has come for someone else to enjoy the blessings we were given for so many years in this house. Kind of uh, bittersweet, if you ask me. I really don't know what to feel. Sadness, partly, but at the same time, thankful that I was given a chance to live in this kind of an environment where I'm surrounded by nature. Just look at that. Everywhere you look, it's just beautiful nature. And uh, I don't think too many people are given that blessing nowadays. And I was one of those fortunate enough to be raised in this kind of an area so yeah oh that's fish everywhere down at the pond and imagining what kind of adventures I can make. I used to sit up here for hours just looking down at the fish and imagining myself swimming with them and sometimes I had a fishing rod and I would try to catch some fish. That's what pretty much my young life, my childhood was about. Me and nature. Loved it. pond it still looks the same as it used to look when I was a kid and you know it brings back so many memories yeah I don't know what to feel now I don't know I guess it's something that the kids nowadays take for granted you know you don't have this much nature anymore around your houses you pretty much spend all your time indoors with your gadgets but when I was growing up this is what I had to play with this house that house and this pond I had a couple of toys yes but I stayed outdoors I, I got myself dirty I, I jumped in this pond I swam in these waters I caught the fish in, inside this pond and no it's, it's kind of sad thinking that someone else is gonna enjoy it and no longer our family. So this terrace is uh, very memorable to me because it was right here where I had my first birthday party. And uh, we had the merry-go-round, the slides, and had the clowns, and everybody was here. So a lot of memories. So uh, what kind of childhood would be complete without your own share of ghost stories and urban legends and uh, this particular one is my favorite. That inside, pardon the vines, used to be a well. I think it's still working. But I remember my dad and my grandparents used to tell us so many ghost stories about this lady guarding the bottom of the well and you know we're not supposed to go near it. Yeah, but we know it's just to try and scare us, just so we won't go near and fall in, but 
these vines weren't here before but now they're falling all the way down it's crazy but yeah so many uh, ghost stories and scary moments with this well I for one I wasn't scared well I think See those vines over there? Those vines are covering a huge mango tree and I remember building a tree house in that tree. You can't see it anymore because it's covered with vines. Uh, you know, I built it for me and for Paul and for Shara to enjoy. Kiko wasn't alive yet so... When we were small we used to jump into this pond and play. We had a small bamboo raft made just floating around and right under that bridge there, there used to be a small opening right there. And the boat used to fit right under that bridge and we could go over to the other side of the pond. But now, I don't know, it's either we got too big or the water just got too high. You can't see the hole anymore. It used to be right there. room. Ah, so many memories in this room. This used to be my parents' room. There's no power anymore. And I remember looking out of this window every day at the trees and plants outside, wondering if there are like dwarves and stuff there. So my imagination was really challenged just by looking outside this window. It looks different now, it used to be more green. Kapatid, ano yung mamimiss nyo sa house? Ikaw pa? Uh, lahat. Ako rin lang. Hmm. Paano ko naman may isa-isa yun? Eh, dito ako lumaki. Hmm. Ako yung garden. Naka every part of the house. Hmm. Of course. Saka kulang din yung ano. Sana mas marami pang plastic. Para mas marami pang plastic. <laughs> Saka I will miss yung, di ba, pagka Noche Buena. Oh. We spend it doon sa ano. Hmm. For the whole family. Yung big table doon. Oo. Oh. Everything. Uh, happy, normal, simple life you had. Uh, 
Uh, basically, my my childhood. Uh, it's the childhood of my childhood. If you see, kahit may kiri lang sa, it's the time na nakaisip ako. Dito, dito ako nagkaisip. And uh, all those memories in siya alis sa akin. Even sa panaginip ko, this is still the setting. So, kahit wala na dito, we would still remain here. By heart na lang. So, lahat yan. The court here before, the pond here, the whole pond. Uh, yun, we'll miss it definitely. Pero, yun talaga. Pero, hindi na yun makakalimutan ever. And with the memories, Lola and Lola. So, yeah. We'll miss that definitely. But, you have to avoid it. cherish and enjoy it and just take care of it as much as we did. <laughs>